Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about constants of nature and today I'm talking about Planck's quantum of action. Why considering constants at all? Because they are the key to fundamental physics. Now, if you haven't done so, watch this video about the age as a mystery, because it's still something to explain and you see the historical development. But age, I think, is the most important constant of physics under several aspects. It shattered classical physics. That's where the revolution of quantum physics, of all modern physics started, so to speak. And of course, H is intimately related to the phenomenon of randomness in physics, also to Heisenberg's uncertainty relation, of course. Then you have the relation to the wave-particle problem or the wave-particle dualism. You know that de Broglie's wavelength is defined by H. It's probably better to look at the wave-particle problem in terms of why there is light and why there is matter. I think this is the more fundamental question. And light and matter in turn are related to the constants C, the speed of light, and H, Planck's quantum of action. This is the more fundamental point of view because if you think about you need to explain the appearance of these constants and there is no way to by the way to calculate the numerical values because as i have argued in this video and in my book in most cases you can as a matter of principle calculate we haven't done this as with the friend structure constant but as a matter of principle we could calculate a constant several constants but not c and h you need these for our very structure of space-time for the definition of meters and seconds and I think the appearance of C and H are, is related to this misunderstanding of reality consisting of space and time. I think we need other terms to describe reality and that's how a qualitative explanation of this constant H must occur. I think you should have a mathematical structure that inherently needs something like this non-commutative behavior. And there are interesting mathematical structures such as the three-dimensional unit sphere, which actually have non-commutativity. So I guess this is related to the appearance of age because we have no good explanation in physics why at all we do need this constant. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in fundamental questions, subscribe to this channel.